Have you ever wondered how much of our modern knowledge owes its existence to the golden age of Islam? That's right, we're stepping back into the annals of history, to the 8th century, a time marked by intellectual blossoming and scientific enlightenment. This era known as the golden age of Islam, unfolded under the auspices of the Abbasid Caliphate. It was a time when the thirst for knowledge knew no bounds, and the pursuit of wisdom was the order of the day. Picture this, the heart of Baghdad, in the midst of the bustling city, stands the House of Wisdom. This was no ordinary house but a grand intellectual hub, where thinkers, scholars and scientists from different cultures and religions congregated. Their mission? To translate and study ancient texts, the likes of which were seldom seen. These texts, rich in wisdom, were drawn from the ancient civilizations of Greece, India and Persia. The House of Wisdom was more than just a library, it was a beacon of knowledge, a melting pot of ideas, a place where the intellectual curious gathered to quench their thirst for understanding. It was a place where the past met the present, and the foundations for the future were laid. Imagine the scene, scholars huddled over texts, their minds lost in the depths of the knowledge they held. The air heavy with the scent of parchment and ink, the silence broken only by the rustle of pages and the murmurs of deep thought. This was a place where the world's wisdom was sought, studied and preserved for generations to come. And so, the golden age of Islam was not just a period of time, it was a movement, an intellectual revolution that ignited a passion for learning, a passion that would change the world. It was during this time that the seeds of knowledge were sown, seeds that would grow into remarkable inventions and discoveries. The seeds of knowledge sown during this time would come to bear fruit in the form of remarkable inventions and discoveries, shaping the world as we know it today. From the astrolabe to the concept of zero, the golden age of Islam ushered in a period of unprecedented scientific and cultural progress. Let's delve into the world of mathematics first. This period saw the birth of algebra, a branch of mathematics that has become a cornerstone of modern computations. The term itself is derived from the Arabic word al-Jabr, coined by the Persian mathematician Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi in his seminal work, The Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing. This work laid the groundwork for the systematic solution of linear and quadratic equations. Alongside algebra, the introduction of Arabic numerals including the concept of zero, revolutionized the world of mathematics. This numerical system, which is still in use today, made calculations more straightforward and efficient, paving the way for more complex mathematical concepts and theories. But the golden age wasn't just about mathematics, there were striking advancements in the field of medicine too. For instance, Persian polymath Avicenna, also known as Ibn Sina, wrote The Canon of Medicine. This five-volume medical encyclopedia served as the chief guide to medical science in Europe until the 17th century. It covered everything from the diagnosis of diseases to the preparation of drugs, thus significantly advancing the field of medicine. Furthermore, this era saw the creation of the first hospitals, known as bimeristans, and pharmacies. These institutions provided free healthcare services to anyone in need, regardless of their social status or financial capability. They were staffed by qualified physicians and pharmacists, and even had separate wards for different diseases resembling our modern-day medical facilities. From the development of algebra to the establishment of hospitals, the golden age of Islam was a time of tremendous intellectual growth and practical innovation. The scholars of this era pushed the boundaries of knowledge and left an indelible mark on various fields of study. These accomplishments are a testament to the intellectual curiosity and pioneering spirit of the scholars of the Golden Age. The Golden Age of Islam produced some of the greatest minds in history. As we delve into this remarkable era we encounter a plethora of scholars whose contributions continue to shape our world. Among these luminaries Al-Khwarizmi and Ibn Sina stand tall, their work echoing through the corridors of time. Al-Khwarizmi, often hailed as the father of algebra, was an extraordinary mathematician and astronomer. His seminal work, the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, introduced the concept of algebra to the world. Al-Khwarizmi's revolutionary ideas transformed the way we approach mathematical problems, making him one of the most influential thinkers of the golden age. His profound influence wasn't limited to mathematics. In the field of astronomy, Al-Khwarizmi's star tables and his work on the Jewish calendar are still referenced by scholars today. His innovative approach to science and mathematics continues to inspire generations of thinkers and researchers. 
Another luminary of this golden age was Ibn Sina, a polymath who made significant contributions to medicine, philosophy, and the sciences. Known in the West as Avicenna, Ibn Sina's The Canon of Medicine served as a crucial medical guide for centuries. His insights into diseases, their causes, and treatments have shaped modern medicine. Beyond medicine, Ibn Sina's philosophical works explore concepts of existence, knowledge, and the nature of reality. His philosophical ideas, particularly those concerning metaphysics and ethics, have had a profound influence on both Eastern and Western philosophy. These two giants of the Golden Age, along with countless others, were instrumental in shaping the intellectual landscape of their time. Their innovative ideas, relentless curiosity, and tireless dedication to knowledge have left an indelible mark on human history. Through their work we see the power of ideas, the beauty of discovery and the capacity of the human mind for incredible innovation. These scholars remind us that knowledge is a journey, not a destination. The work of these extraordinary individuals laid the groundwork for many of the scientific principles and practices we use today. The Golden Age of Islam was a period of intellectual flowering that has left an indelible mark on history. This era witnessed the birth of revolutionary inventions and unprecedented discoveries that forever altered the course of human knowledge. The compass, algebra, the astrolabe and the concept of quarantine are but a few examples of the intellectual wealth that was cultivated during this time. These contributions were not the result of chance but were the fruit of the tireless efforts of brilliant minds. Scholars such as Al-Khwarizmi, Ibn Sina and Al-Biruni among others, dedicated their lives to the pursuit of knowledge, their work laying the foundation for countless disciplines we take for granted today. Their perseverance, their curiosity, their unwavering commitment to exploration and understanding, created a legacy that has stood the test of time. Their legacy serves as a reminder of the power of knowledge and the potential of the human mind, inspiring generations of thinkers to continue pushing the boundaries of what is possible.